Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So summer's finally here. Today, uh, the day I'm recording this video, it's really hot outside and uh, and it's really nice. Um, so yeah, summer's here and um, you know we'll be out in our gardens at night time and all that sort of stuff. So I'm thinking of making some outside lights. And of course you can buy them and all this sort of stuff and uh, they're quite expensive, well they seem to be quite expensive and you can't have them exactly how you want them. So I'm thinking, I'm going to make my own. So, um, I've got lots of different LEDs here. <coughs> Let's have a look through them and see what's most appropriate. These are standard uh, signal LEDs for breadboards and whatever for Arduino projects. That's not good. No, they're no good. Got RGB LEDs, which are of course red, green, and blue. That's no good. They could be good. They're ultra bright uh, mini LED things. Uh, they could be good. Then we've got these are blinking LEDs. They're no good. These are high power large LEDs, and these could be very good. Um. What else have we got in here? Oh, that's a different one. These are these straw hat ones, or whatever they're called. And that could be good. So, whoops. So, I can, if I can get that back, um, that may be a good one. There you go. And I think that's all the different types of LEDs I've got. A couple of green ones and whatever, but of course, they're not going to be any good. So I think that's about it. So let's test them out and see which ones are most appropriate. So we know they're not. So we've got these three to test. So I'll just zoom in. <coughs> I've got my power supply here. And let's see what we've got. So this one to start with. Anode and the cathode. I've given it three volts and it's glowing up but it's quite a bluish sort of colour and I don't think that's very nice for night time so I'll get rid of that one this is the next one and these are actually soldered onto a base they actually look like this you solder the base on and the base keeps them a little bit cooler anyway this one whoa that's that's bright and it's Hmm, it's an orangey sort of colour, so that would be maybe quite nice. Now this one is obviously a big one. It's obviously going to be more than 3 volts, so I'll go for 7. And uh, let's see what happens. Right, 7's no good. Let's go for 9 then. 9 volts. Whoa, that's very bright. And that's, a, that's white. It's a whitish colour. Um, they may be too bright for night time but I think I'm going to go for those so these are 9 volt ones and how many have I got here <coughs> 3 looks like I've only got 3 oh there's another type of LED there as well but I've only got one of those so uh, I've got 3 of them hmm. I'd hope that I'd have a few more than that really oh there's another one and there's another one 5 Yep, so we've got five. That should be sufficient. So I'll put my LEDs back. So, next thing is about configuration. So I've got five of these things. They look really nice, don't they? But should I wire them in series or parallel? So if I do them in series, that's 9 volts, 18 volts, 36 volts, 45 volts, and 45 volts. Uh, is too much really for an outside project so they're going to have to be um, wired in parallel so let's uh, do this again in parallel so there we go so I'll join all the minuses together and join all the pluses together so this will be 9 volts and I didn't check how many milliamps hang on Seventy milliamps. So 
um, one, two, three, four, five, so that's 350 milliamps. So 9 volts, 350 milliamps, that's no problem at all. So we could just use a 9 volt DC um, adapter. So I've got a load of this cable here, well, wire, and um, let's have a quick look at it, I'll zoom out. Uh, speaker cable it says, and um, it should be okay. It's not particularly thick, but what did I say, 350 milliamps, yeah, it's just fine for that. So I need to slice these into big long sections of probably, probably 6 foot. Um, or 1.2 meters or whatever the equivalent is. So I'll do that now. So I've got four of these and that should be enough to um, to wire five up but of course I need something to power it as well. But anyway this is a good start. So I've got four and as you can see there's a black stripe on the ground so yeah I've got four of these and I think now it's time to start soldering up. So now really these need to be protected from the elements because if I'm going to keep them outside they really do need that protection. So this wire uh, actually isn't UV protected. So after a while, it might start, you know, getting crumbly. It might start looking a bit dull and whatever. And the same for these. These need to be protected. What you'd need to get really is UV heat shrink, and you just put the UV heat shrink on it, and then just shrink it to stop water and whatever. But you know, whatever. I'm just messing about, so I'm not too concerned. If I have to, I'll just take them down when it rains or whatever. Anyway, so I want to solder, on them, solder them up, so let's start with the first one. I'll just split the wire, um, take the insulation off, and give it a twist. I think I'll tin these first because I'd, otherwise I can't see it being an easy job. So. So let's see what happens. Those in there. Well, let's go. There's the first one. I suppose I might as well try and solder it on as well. So black goes to the negative. I suppose I'll get this to hold it in case I burn the, the mat. I don't know if they're dirty. We'll see. So positive. I think these, those things need tin in too, so let's give that a go. And maybe a quick clean as well, but whatever. Um, so I'll just trim some of this off. I've gone a bit too, too crazy with the lengths there, so Let's see what happens. Let's just turn this up. There we go, that's better. Right. And the next one. There we go, that's better. So, there's the first one done. So these are going to be in um, in parallel. So all the minuses are going to go together and all the pluses will go together. Okay, so I've done it. On this side I've got loads of wire and on this side I've got an LED and another LED and then another LED Then another LED. <coughs> and the last LED. So first of all I need to just check that this works. So um, 
Hmm. I suppose I'll just put it all over here. But you can see that they need insulating. But anyway, let's put it over here. So now this, this thing should take around about 350 milliamps or so. So this will be a good test. This is a very, very long cable. So, um, I'm going to, well in fact I'll just grab the end of it, it'll be easier. I'm going to give this 9 volts, so let's get the majority of the LEDs in view of the camera. And I'll give this 9 volts and we'll see what happens. There's the first wire and there's the second wire. So it works and it's only 200 milliamps, hmm. That's strange isn't it? But anyway we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got all five working. And uh, <coughs> 200 milliamps, oh 170 milliamps. I thought it would be a lot more. But anyway, oh it's because the voltage has dropped for some reason. Right there we go. Give it a bit more. There's 10 volts and uh, once you fill it up to 12 I don't want to blow the things. Yeah, that's 12 volts, so that's interesting. They don't seem to be getting too hot, so... That's 1 amp. 12 volts, 1 amp. I don't think I will go that crazy. I think I'll leave it at 9. Just to get maximum life. So, 9 volts. That should be sufficient for night time. So, um, next I need to look for a charger. I've got this 9 volt thing here, so I'll just have to use one of those batteries for now. But I also need a switch, so that switch looks about right. A basic three-way switch. That'll do. So I'll solder these on now. It should be fairly easy, I hope. So Let's see what happens. There's one on there. Then we need the other end of this wire. about got it. And now the last wire is this one. Well, there we go, it's done. So we've got the 9 volt battery, a switch, and a load of LEDs. So I'll go and get a battery and we'll see what happens. So I've got the battery, the 9 volt battery. I'll flick the switch and it all works. So I'm going to um, put this up at night time and hopefully I can... Um okay, so I've turned them on. And they're quite bright, but um, I've only got them on very low anyway. You can see that they do work. Um, they're actually more effective in real life than they are on the camera. Anyway. And in the solar shed, you can see that I've got them on 8.2 volts. 8.2 volts is nothing, is it? And I can actually turn it up higher and lower, and I've got a little switch here to turn it off. Um, yeah, 8.2 volts and there's the switch. Anyway, so it's been a quite a good um, project, so I just need to fix them to something properly now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.